DJI is once again making waves in the drone world with what appears to be the next evolution of its ultralight drone series. The DJI NEO 2 has recently passed FCC certification in the United States, strongly suggesting that an official launch is on the horizon. This regulatory milestone not only confirms that the NEO 2 exists, it also supports much of the recent speculation e about what this new drone could bring to the table. Thanks to a growing number of leaks and industry insiders, we now have a clearer picture of what to expect from DJI's next sub 250G drone. From design upgrades to camera enhancements and extended flight time, the NEO 2 is shaping up to be a major upgrade over the original NEO. Here's a detailed breakdown of everything we know so far. One of the most appealing aspects of the original DJI NEO was its ultra-lightweight construction. It stayed under the critical 250G weight limit, making it exempt from registration in many countries and ideal for beginners and casual flyers. The NEO 2 is expected to continue this legacy by retaining the sub 250G classification, which will again make it a convenient option for hobbyists, travelers, and content creators who want a hassle-free flying experience. But that doesn't mean it'll be a copy of its predecessor. One of the rumored physical upgrades includes dual-layer propeller guards. This seemingly small change has important implications it adds a significant layer of safety and durability, especially helpful for those still learning to fly. With these enhanced guards, the NEO 2 becomes more forgiving of minor crashes and can withstand accidental bumps better than many drones in its category. That's a welcome improvement for first-time users who value reliability and crash protection. Perhaps the most talked about upgrade in the DJI NEO 2 is the camera. While the original NEO delivered acceptable image quality for its price, it didn't exactly wow users in the imaging department. This time around, DJI seems ready to change that. According to leaks and insider reports, the NEO May 2nd come equipped with a 1x1. 3-inch CMOS sensor. Earlier speculation pointed to a possible 1-inch sensor, but that now seems less likely. Regardless, a 1x1. 3-inch sensor is still a substantial improvement over what the first NEO offered. This larger sensor means the camera will be able to capture more light, leading to better image quality, improved low-light performance, enhanced dynamic range, and sharper details in both photos and videos. As for video, the NEO 2 is expected to support 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, an impressive capability for such a small and lightweight drone. This would allow users to capture buttery smooth, cinematic footage and give the NEO 2 a strong advantage over competing entry-level drones. There's also talk of improved image processing with smarter AI-based enhancements to automatically adjust image quality, which would make it easier for casual users to get professional-looking results with minimal post-production work. Another key area where the DJI NEO 2 appears to have made gains is battery life. The newly certified model is listed with a battery capacity of 11.6 WH at 7.16 volts and 1,660 Ma. That's an approximate 10.7% increase in battery capacity over the original NEO's power cell. While DJI hasn't officially confirmed expected flight times, Leaked documents and early testing reports suggest the NEO 2 could deliver around 20 to 25 minutes of flight time on a full charge. That's a step up from the 18 minutes offered by the first gen NEO. For a drone that weighs under 250 grams, this flight time is quite competitive and should be more than enough for most short aerial sessions, 
especially for content creators who want to film quick sequences or explore a location from the air. DJI has long been known for its intelligent flight features, and the Neo 2 is expected to carry on that tradition. Leaks suggest that the drone will include several smart flight modes, likely powered by onboard AI. These could include options like automatic tracking, pre-programmed cinematic flight paths, and one-touch camera moves, allowing users to perform complex aerial maneuvers without any manual input. On the safety front, the Neo 2 is rumored to feature an upgraded obstacle detection system. The original Neo had fairly limited sensing capabilities, but the new model might come with front, rear, and bottom sensors to help detect and avoid obstacles automatically. This would not only make the drone safer for beginners, but also open up more automated and precise flying options in complex environments. For entry-level users, these additions are incredibly useful, as they reduce the learning curve and lower the risk of accidental crashes. Another area that may see significant improvement in the DJI Neo 2 is its video transmission system. The original Neo relied on a basic Wi-Fi system that worked fine for casual use, but had limitations in range and stability. For the Neo 2, DJI may introduce a more advanced transmission protocol. Some sources suggest a simplified version of DJI's O4 transmission system could be used, while others speculate it might still be based on an improved Wi-Fi protocol. Either way, we're expecting better signal strength, reduced latency, and a more stable video feed, especially important for users who rely on FPV first-person view while filming. This would allow for clearer real-time viewing and give creators more confidence while flying, especially over longer distances or in more challenging environments. The original DJI Neo was launched as an affordable, entry-level drone, retailing at around $289 on platforms like Amazon. Despite the upgrades coming with the Neo 2, DJI seems intent on keeping it within reach for the average consumer. Current industry chatter points to a slightly higher price tag, possibly between $299 and $349. This would reflect the enhanced sensor, longer flight time, and added intelligent features while still keeping it competitive within the budget drone market. In this price range, the Neo 2 will likely compete directly with the Autel Nano C and similar compact drones from brands like Hubson and Femi. If the leaks and rumors surrounding the DJI Neo 2 turn out to be accurate, this drone is shaping up to be one of the best ultralight models on the market. It brings significant improvements in camera technology, battery life, obstacle detection, and intelligent flight features, all while keeping its weight under 250 grams. The drone's FCC certification is a major milestone that confirms its development is nearly complete. Although DJI has not provided an official release date yet, the growing buzz and ongoing product registrations suggest that a launch could happen very soon, potentially within the next few months. Whether you're a beginner looking for a drone that's easy to fly, a traveler who needs something compact and lightweight, or a content creator wanting better image quality without the bulk of a professional drone, the DJI Neo 2 is shaping up to be a compelling option. In a market where drone users often have to choose between portability and performance, the Neo 2 just might deliver the best of both. Stay tuned, as the official launch draws near, more details are sure to emerge. And if DJI's recent track record is any indication, the Neo 2 will not disappoint.